Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I welcome you back in the second lecture of the lesson The Servant by St. Simeon. So, in the previous lecture, we read that the central character of the story is Jerasim, who is a peasant boy from Russia and he has spent most of his time in Moscow. But unfortunately, he lost his job when he was called back to his village to join armored forces but he could not get the job then he plans to go back to Moscow to get the job but when he reached Moscow he found that the job has already been taken by some another person then he reminds of another person that is Yugo and Yugo is also he belongs to his native village and Jerusalem thinks that Yugo will find him a job in the most difficult times now then you know that Yugo is a person who is having gilip tongue are you getting me he is a cunning person and Yugo who himself works under Sharo and Sharo is master of Yugo Sharo is merchant now Yugo promises Jerasim that he will talk to Sharo his master to get him a job now he does the same thing now what happens next is interesting so let's begin now Yugor approaches Sharo and he tells him everything that he is here just to have his friend Jerasim who needs a job. Now Sharo tells him that what can he do for him and Yugor just tells him that as Sharo is having an old servant whose name is Polly Kopech and Polly Kopech is living with his wife but both Polly Kopech and his wife although being servants to Sharo uh, they are incompetent why are they incompetent because they are now old they are lazy their work is not up to mark So, Yugor takes advantage of their old age and he just makes it a weak point for Polykopich and he suggests to Sharo that he should replace Polykopich and his wife with a young man that is Jurassic who can work with agility. But on the other hand, Sharo, who is the master, he knows that they have served him for almost 15 years and they are very really loyal and faithful to him. So he negates, he nullifies the idea of Yugor to throw them away. It means that he remains reluctant. He does not allow Yugor to let them get away and lose their job. But as you know that Yugor is very cunning so he persuades and he flatters he uses his glip tongue in such a way that Sharo at once at the end he agrees with Yugor to throw away Polykopech and replace him with Jurassim as a new servant then Yugor he tells Sharo that they are old and they have saved a lot of money and they can spend the last stage of their life in an almost house. Okay? So, almost house, actually, it is a house made for old people. 
just like orphanage now they have saved money and they can just live their last stage of life in an almost house so they cannot be bothered now Shadow he agrees with you got to keep Jerasim as a new servant in place of Polly Coppage and his wife what happens next then Jerasim comes the next day when Jerasim comes the next day and you go introduces Jerasim to his master that is Shara and after questioning Jerasim Shara agrees to keep him as a servant in place of Polly Coppage and Shara tells Jerasim to join the job the next day so he tells him that you better come tomorrow we will start working here the next day from tomorrow now before leaving now here is the u-turn in the story what is the u-turn in the story before leaving Jerasim when he was crossing the courtyard when he was crossing the courtyard he heard some noises inside the servant room and he came to know that the people talking inside are actually Polycopich and his wife and they are very sad to, to know about the decision made by their master Shara now they talk to one another that they are deceived by their master in their old age are you getting me? So they are very furious, particularly Polly Coppich's wife. But Polly Coppich suggests to him that the real devil is none other than Yugor. Because it is Yugor who used his glib tongue to let Sharao replace them with Jurassic. Okay? Now, Jirasim. Now he hears the conversation and this conversation just stabs him like a dagger. Remember that. The conversation between Polly Coppich and his wife was very important because it stabbed him like a dragon are you getting me and this conversation it pricks the conscience of Jirasim <clears throat> it makes him realize his mistake that his decision to replace Polly Coppich and his wife is wrong because they are in their old age and it will make them perish it will make their life hell because they cannot get another job in their old age. So what does Jerasim do? Now, it is the point where Jerasim realizes that he will not take this job. Are you getting me? Because he was shocked by the conversation. Although, Polly Coppich and his wife, Polly Coppich and his wife, they just talk about the ills of Yugor and the evils of Yugor because they talk that Yugor was a thief who looted his master Shara. Now they want to take this message to their master Shara, but it is Polly Coppage who does not allow his wife. He tells his wife that it will be a deception. They should not do such a thing. Now, but when Jerasim overhears this conversation, he becomes really shocked because he realizes that they, this old couple is very, they, they are very honest, they are generous, and they are very faithful. So he now plans to leave this post and he is not going to take this job. 
so finally he goes back to his friend his village boy that is Yugor and he tells him everything that he is not going to take this job on the other side now Yugor becomes mad with anger now he began he begins to curse Jerasim for being a nonsense person but whatsoever Jerasim leaves the place with by feeling light-hearted and he feels victorious at the end although he loses the job you got it now this is how the story ends now Jerasim leaves the place he talks about and he talks in favor of Polykopich and his wife and he plans to leave the place and find some another job now the important points regarding the short story are now important points to remember they are very important regarding your final examination are you getting me better first thing is character sketch of Jurassic it is very important there may be a question sketch the character of Jurassic so how will you sketch his character so you have to sketch the character of Jurassic in a positive manner it means that he was very kind he was very affectionate and he proves to be a real human although he loses his job and he plans to take the job of Wally Copper and his wife but it is at the end now you will mention all the things it is his uh, being a kind-hearted person that he realizes at the end that he is not going to take and replace Polly Kopech and his wife. Okay? Now you will just sketch his character in a positive way. And you will also include how did the conversation at the end change his life. Okay? You will also mention it that at the end when he overheard the conversation between the old couple, he just changed his decision at the last point because he was having the heart of gold okay and he could not let polycopic and his wife suffer because of his humble character so he proves to be a positive and humble character or we can say that he proves to be an angel in the story angel in the story okay he is an angel in the story and on the other side although you got plans to help him but it is not remember that Yugor is a negative character because now you may tell me sir he ha helped his um, friend Jurassic no it is not so his nature is not helpful my dears remember that his nature is not helpful but Yugor's nature is cunning are you getting me he was having the mind of devil okay and he uses his glib tongue to persuade his master to deceive Polycopic and his wife you got it the next important point is very important that is different themes of the story are you getting me so you will focus on one theme that is self-centeredness self-centeredness and selfishness one and the same thing huh? whether we talk about self-centeredness or selfishness is the greatest curse for humanity self-centeredness or selfishness is the greatest curse for humanity how now you will just show your theme portrait your theme through the character of Jurassic and you got are you getting me that it was Jurassic, Jurassic at the beginning of the story that he was jobless and when he comes to seek the help of you got now he becomes self-centered for a for a moment Jurassic becomes self-centered when he comes to know that he can replace polycopic are you getting me at the end he realizes that being selfish is always harmful for other other people are you getting me when a person becomes selfish becomes self-centered he always harms the other people are you getting me 
when a person is selfish he cannot differentiate between what is good and what is bad what is right and what is wrong what is fair and what is unfair are you getting me what is just and what is unjust and you have to uh, quote here and you have to mention that no doubt that jurassic was helped by yugor but the the nature of yugor is also selfish because he wants to let jurassic work so that jurassic will work with agility and he may get get less work and so that jurassic may share his burden and make his life more easy are you getting me so jurassic was at the end he proves to be a good heart hearted person on the other side we find that yugor is a devil okay and jurassic is an angel so i would i would like to recommend you that you need to read the whole story are you getting me and whatever i told you in the lecture you need to comprehend it bit by bit so that it may prove very helpful in your examination inshallah i will see you in the next lecture with a new topic till then take care and fi amanullah